In this video, we are going to learn two more APIs around Pump Fundix. All the API links will be in the description along with BitQuery Telegram channel link. You can run and test the APIs by signing up on id.bitquery.io. We are going to see these two APIs in this tutorial. First one will be API to get the trade volume of a token in past one hour on Pump Fundix. Second one will be API to get the top 10 token holders of a token. Keep in mind that Solana is an EAP that is early access program. So it only has past eight hours of data. Let's start with the first API. Make sure that this is EAP here. First API is going to give us trade volume of a particular token in past one hour on Pump Fund Dex. Select Solana, then Dex trade by tokens. And in that we use where to put our filters, set trade currency mint address as this token address. I'm calculating here the past one hour trading volume of this particular token on pump fund dex, right? So I'm going to set one more filter here in dex protocol name as pump. Now I'm going to set one more field here, which is block time since and I'll put here UTC time from one hour from now, UTC time right now is 7.59. So I'll put 6.59 here. Now I'm going to select the fields I need info about. So I'm going to select the trade and in that currency details which is mint address, name and symbol. And then I'm going to select the DEX details is protocol name, protocol family and program address. Actually, we have set this already like the mint address of the token and the protocol name of the DEX. But we are selecting extra details here just to double check. Now I'm going to get the sum of trading amount in the past one hour. And I'm going to give this an alias name of trade volume. Now you can run this query. Now I'm going to run this query and we'll get the past one hour trading volume of this token on pump fund DEX. You can see the trading volume in the past one hour, the token details and the DEX details. I'm going to move on to the second API. We will be getting top 10 token holders of a token. Select Solana, then balance updates. And in where we will put our filters, select balance update, currency, mint address, as the token address which you want set limit count as 10 because we only need top 10 token holders now select the fields you need info about select balance update under that currency details mint address name and symbol and also the account address because we will be grouping by the account address and now we're going to sum the balance update amount so that we can get the total holding of a particular address Select where greater than zero so that we don't get the addresses where the amount is zero of the total holdings. I'll give this an alias name of total holdings and we'll order the result in descending order according to this total holdings field. And now I'm going to run the query and we'll get the top 10 token holders of the specific token. You can see the top 10 token holders. So we have got two addresses with this much amount of token holdings. And other than that, all the addresses have zero holdings. You can only use that token address here for which the token has been created in the past eight hours only because Solana is in EAP right now and it doesn't have any historical data. The team is backfilling some historical data, but it will take time. So if you need to be updated about this, you can join our telegram channel where we keep posting about our updates. Keep in mind that you cannot use these two APIs with the subscription keyword. You'll have to use this query keyword only because in subscription web socket aggregates don't work quite well. So you need to use the query keyword only. These were the APIs for pump fund decks. Thanks for watching like and subscribe and head over to our telegram channel if you have any questions.